Virgil Abloh talks Louis Vuitton, I want a young generation to know there's someone listening. Up at the Louis Vuitton men's studio at the company's headquarters at 2, Rue Pont Neuf yesterday there was pandemonium, a swirling organized chaos, going on around Virgil Abloh. The man of the moment on whom the eyeballs of the fashion world are glued and, more importantly, those of the global millions of the boy fans who adulate him was bounding genially around, 24 hours before the debut which has already been characterized as a seismic upheaval at the very center of the fashion establishment. It's not hard to appreciate that momentousness. This office building, where visitors must deposit their passports or ID cards before entry, has all the intimidating atmosphere of a French government department. It's that grand, that powerful, the Ministry of Louis Vuitton, where the first African American, 37 years old, hailing from Rockford, Illinois, has taken over to direct the output of the storied luxury brand, for men. As he greeted yet more friends, artists, musicians, and graphic designers, who were converging on the fitting some will walk in the show he passed through his office, pointing out Dex and Amic. We've got a radio station running out of here. And then smiled, look at all my friends over here males they love style, they love luxury. They just want something they can believe in. Multitasker as he is he'd just arrived back from his off-white show, without a shadow of exhaustion about him Ablah is conscious that his responsibility at Vuden goes a good deal beyond just doing a great commercial job. He's setting an example for a rising generation, too, I'm here, I want to show that I'm just a figure with many more behind him. I've cracked open the door. I want to show it's open, to meet people halfway. To that end, he has invited 3,000 students to the open air spectacular he's planned, in a takeover of the gardens of the Palais Royal. On their seats, all guests will find the program Abla has thought through with the eye and brain of the graphic designer he is, they will be able to identify who the models are, what they do. It's about giving them an identity, about them no longer being anonymous bodies. There's a map of where they live in the world, and where their parents came from. I thought that works, you know, with the idea of Louis Vuitton and travel. Bernard Arnault, chairman and CEO of LVMH, Louis Vuitton's parent company got it immediately. It works on the level of much else, of course. Abla is planning much more symbolism that will send his very visible, very people-friendly message of inclusion around the internet in nanoseconds as the audience takes their seats at 2 p.m. Paris time. 
As he moved along the racks and checked over the trainers, he remarked, yeah, now men are buying trainers like women buy handbags. And, oh yes, his old school idea for these are going to cause earth tremors in sneaker headland. He also vocalized his feelings about the day he knew he was confirmed for the job, a condensed transcript of which follows, for the whole day of the announcement there was this big outswell, this feeling of, it's shocking. On the radio in Jamaica, they announced it. It was a big deal in America, it transcended. So I was like, wait, close our clothes. How can we add importance? Now it's time to bring a message up with me. Before, I'd already had, like, seven collections planned, but I took the plane from Chicago to Paris, and for six hours, I couldn't sleep. Suddenly, I had this vision of all the anticipation on what's going to happen at the show, of a bunch of people sitting with their arms crossed, going, show me what you got. So in three hours on that flight I redrafted the whole collection. Obviously everyone was thinking I'm going to do streetwear. That's not happening. I came up with this idea about white, but then, scientifically, the idea of white light hitting a prism, and then refracting into color. I mean, that's me I'm off white. That's my reason, why I'm here, but now I have the impact of the house. deeper than that. It's race, it's models, it's the political ecosystem. And practically, it's fabric, fit. Can I cut the suit? Tailoring how can I do that? Laying a foundation, that's what this season's about. I want to speak to the generation presiding. But I also want a young generation to come in and know, hey, there's someone here who's listening, and speaking back to them.